quickly moving forward here, we have the uh, front seats are in in the match. From a video standpoint, it looks right on the mark, you know? However, when you see it in reality, there's some slight differences. I'll see if I can get up, get a little bit closer here to kind of show you side-by-side -side comparison. You can kind of see it in the video. But I, get, I, I gotta say, the lightness on this right here matches, we talked about the modeling, sort of matches the lightness in the fabric on the original seat. And um, you can see that this seat's, a, I don't know, I can feel it, this seat's a little bit more... Um, puffy. Yeah, puffy and a little more supportive, whereas this one is, you know, you kind of are able to sink into this one a little bit more. But, you know, overall, it's a, it's a pretty darn good match. Um, at a quick glance, it's going to be hard-pressed to tell. But, you know, you really look at it, you can definitely tell. But it's, it's great for the future that down the road when this other one goes, we'll be all set with uh, this upholstery. Um, other things that are have been mounted here would be the rear ambulance doors. I kind of shot that quickly. But uh, getting some of the details here, nice stainless steel hardware has been installed. We have this door done. All the mechanisms are installed, adjusted. Uh, they work great as well as uh, these mechanisms installed back on. Working great, original handle. And in the back we have oh, a number of tools, but uh, working towards getting the jump seats back in the back. And also uh, any kind of jack bracketry that came with the vehicle back in it from a installation standpoint. One of the things that did not come with the vehicle that we uh, the customer does have another Land Cruiser that we worked on last year. It did not come with bumperettes or a rear step or anything of that nature. We're going to put those back on so that it matches the other Land Cruiser. So we'll be putting bumperettes on, stock bumperettes, and a rear step so it's easy to get in and out of. And uh, you can see overall where we're at with it. However, um, the doors will be installed and that's not a major undertaking as well as even the front nose of it um, that's not a major undertaking but we're leaving it off mainly because it's a lot easier to work on uh, engine components vis-a-vis -vis and brake components we have brake, brand new brake line has been installed all stainless steel the other line was rather suspect the master cylinder is yet to be delivered uh, but we have brand new custom bent stainless steel brake line having been installed here so um, that looks great and also just to remark the brake booster again is on the right hand side whereas typically the brake booster is on the left hand side and you have to run all the brake lines over and down this is a very short sweep for the brake line typically on here runs a little bit shorter on that particular brake so uh, we are going to replace the shocks the, the other shocks were just spent they were just uh, wiped out so Again, uh, we're going ahead as quickly as we can to get this back together, and we are uh, taking the time to do some nice mechanical and electrical and, you know, just any kind of safety type issues. We're reinstalling the stock seatbelt brackets and, excuse me, seatbelts that came with it. They're, they're certainly an older style, but they're unique and different, and they're a three-point belt that works in the front, but they do not retract. They don't recoil. But we're installing those back in. And uh, and whatnot, so looking good.